So what we found is that with sunscreens up until this time, the uh, UVA ratings weren't all that great. And as a result, the FDA has come in and changed the sunscreen ratings uh, a little bit. They've tweaked them to make the UVA ratings mean a little bit of something. Now, um, what, what they haven't done exactly is to provide a numeric system for UVA like UVB. So SPF, the number that you see on SPF, is all about UVB, which is what we uh, know will cause burning, but A, UVA, can cause aging and skin cancer. So they're both really important. So UVB, what, if what we've had SPF numbers ranging from like two to 100 for the past uh, 10 or 15 years now, um, has become somewhat um, not as important uh, because the uh, sunscreens can have a great UVB rating, i.e. a high SPF rating, but have zero or very little UVA protection in them. So that's one of the reasons that the FDA has come in and demanded that the manufacturers actually have a better rating system. Now the new rating system, which starts on June 18th of 2012, is one that changes it to a broad spectrum rating. Also, what it says is that if you don't have an SPF of 15, your sunscreen isn't even considered a sunscreen. So you can have anywhere from a 15 to a 50. After 50, they're labeled as 50 plus. Now the other thing is that they don't say waterproof. It's water resistant because we all know that sunscreens, even the best of them, can be washed off when you're in the pool or in excessive uh, moisture and sweating a great deal. The other thing that changes is that various other ingredients um, like powders, towelettes, uh, sprays that have sunscreen in them that don't prove that they uh, have an SPF of 15 won't be rated anymore. So if you're, if you're used to using a sunscreen that is a powder brush on sunscreen like Color Science or others, um, their ratings will be changing over time. This is sort of in limbo, and the FDA will probably be making some final rulings on this in the next uh, 6 to 12 months. So for now, what is happening is that all the sunscreen manufacturers in powders, in towelettes, every other methodology other than just creams and, and lotions, etc., are changing to not say that they have sunscreen with an SPF in it, but what will happen is that over time, they will get a system to, to allow them to say that they have an SPF. Now, if their SPF is less than 15, they're not rated because of the new guidelines. If their SPF is greater than a 50, it just comes down to 50 plus. They will not say SPF 70, SPF 100, whatever after this. The nice thing about this is that if you have a broad protection rating on your sunscreen, that will mean that it does have a UVA rate rating in it to some degree. We still have to trust the manufacturer, and for that reason, I'm still a big fan of Elta sunscreens. Um, I think that they're great sunscreens. I like the La Roche-Posay Antelio sunscreens as well, and we have some other favorites. We like the Naya sunscreen because it's a broad spectrum, uh, broad-based sunscreen. And there are a couple others that we like that are just the standard sunscreens. Um, we additionally like the powders uh, still and recommend that people use the powders, but you won't see the SPF rating on the, on the tubes anymore, so don't be surprised about that. Same thing for uh, sunscreen containing makeups like Oxygenetics and uh, some of the others that have sunscreen in them. They won't necessarily have the sunscreen rating on them until the FDA re remakes their guidelines a little bit more. As always, it's important to keep yourself out of the sun during the worst times of the day, meaning that you should stay out of the sun between 10 and 2, 10 and 3 in the afternoon. Reapply frequently, at least every two hours. Please try to get your sunscreen on about 20 to 30 minutes before you go outside as it gives it a chance to start to work uh, and protects you even better. And if you get a sunburn, remember the one thing that you can do to help yourself from not having a really bad sunburn, take an aspirin. It will help you a great deal. Thanks again and have a great day.